Every time I start my Asus J1S, I can see this message. CMOS date time not set. This means that the bias battery, which is located on the motherboard of this laptop, is dead. There is no current at all. That's why BIOS is always asking to set up as a system date and time. And it's always asking about password. Nobody never didn't install any password on this laptop. But since the battery is dead, it's always asking about password before it will start the booting process. This laptop is using CR2032 battery on it. Don't buy cheap battery because it could last you about 6 months and then it will discharge again. Buy something like Duracell CR2032. This will last you a lot longer, up to 3 years. Since the battery is completely dead, today we're gonna replace it. I bought the Duracell battery as I mentioned before. It's using the CR2032. Let's start the assembling the unit. The first step, very important step, of course you have to remove the battery. Remove the battery by putting this clip up and this clip down. The battery is removed. You can put it somewhere aside. Next step you have to remove these two screws. I recommend you to place the screws in the side of the same part you just removing. So when you will assembling everything back on, you will know that you see the screws are still there. The next step is to remove those two screws. When you removed this part, the cover, you can remove the hard drive, hold from your way. The next you have to remove those three connectors. They're responsible for the Wi-Fi signal. The, it's Wi-Fi antenna. Remove all three of them. Remove the memory. The white one is antenna. It's in the bottom. The black one is on top, it's antenna as well, and the gray one is responsible for the bandwidth. It shows you activity on your wireless card. Remove all three of them. Remove those two screws and you will be able to see the processor. This one and this one. Remove those four screws and you will be able to disengage the seat hink from the processor. One, two, three, four. The thermal compound is almost gone. I will replace this Arctic Silver 5 to IC Diamond Carat 7. Heat sink is already aside. Remove the processor from the socket by doing control clockwise with a flat screwdriver and remove the processor from the socket the simple as this next step we have to remove the Wi-Fi model by putting these clips like this on both sides and he will come out the next step is to remove those three bolts. You will be able to disengage the screen. This antenna goes together with the screen, LCD screen. You remove three on one side and three on the other side. You have to remove this one and this one. The next step is to remove the keyboard. There is a latches inside. You have to put them up 
and keyboard will start coming out. But besides, from the other side, there is two bolts which are mounting keyboard. This one and this one. It says K. When the keyboard is out, you have to remove those two plugs like this. And remove the keyboard out from your way. Disconnect the touchpad by putting it up the same way you did with the keyboard. And LVSD panel, this panel illumination, this connector, this connect both of them. Remove those two bolts and remove this cap out. Disconnect those connectors. This white one and this bolt, grounding point. You disconnected the grounding point and those two, the, the last grounding point is on the way. This one removed. At this step, when the screen is removed, you have the assembly. An assembly has a motherboard inside. And uh, you have to start removing the rest of the bolt. This one, this one, and a bunch of bolts which are located underneath. The one right here. Basically all remaining bolts have to be removed. After I remove this bunch amount of bolts, could be taken apart. After the upper panel was removed, the battery is located underneath. The bias battery is located underneath of the motherboard. You have to disconnect the speaker connector. You have to remove this bolt this ball, this ball, to put the motherboard upside down. Motherboard is removed out from this assembly. And the battery is located just right there. Since we are already here, I will also will replace the thermal compound on a GPU heatsink. Remove the whole battery and remove the heatsink by removing those three bolts. I check the old CR2032 battery with voltmeter and it shows no current at all. This is original battery made by Panasonic which was installed on this motherboard back in 2007. Right now it will be replaced with this Duracell 2032 battery. Using the Isapril based liquid wipes, clean the GPU, the GPU heatsink, the CPU heatsink and the CPU itself. Apply new IC Diamond Karat 7 compound and assemble everything back on. And of course, don't forget to install the new CR2032 battery. This one is completely... doesn't have any current on it. Install the new replacement, which will last you up to 5 years. Don't buy the cheap one, buy the good brand like Duracell. The new battery is installed. Duracell. The heatsink is installed which is responsible for cooling down the GPU. I applied IC Diamond Karat 7. Let's start assembling everything back on.